Hi, I'm Harry Campbell, President of Biofeedback Resources International. I'm here to talk about BCIA certification for peripheral biofeedback and EEG neurofeedback. BCIA stands for Biofeedback Certification International Alliance. BCIA is the gold standard and most recognized certification in bio and neurofeedback recognized worldwide. Some people buy biofeedback equipment and receive minimal training and start seeing clients right away. Others practice, continue their study, and work with experienced providers until they have shown competence before working with clients. How can the consumer tell the difference? The answer is BCIA certification. BCIA certification has a series of requirements that ensure that the new provider has at least a certain minimum competence. There's a certification for peripheral biofeedback and a separate certification for EEG neurofeedback. Peripheral biofeedback includes the modalities related to the peripheral nervous system. This includes EMG, temperature, skin conductance, respiration, and heart rate, heart rate variability with an introduction to EEG neurofeedback. EEG neurofeedback includes EEG or brainwave biofeedback, QEEG or quantitative EEG, and HEG or hemoencephalography. The requirements for the entry level clinical peripheral biofeedback certification are one, a bachelor's degree in a BCIA approved health related field, two, human anatomy and physiology or human biology course, three, BCIA approved 48 hour didactic training covering the BCIA blueprint of knowledge, four, 20 contact hours spent with a BCIA approved mentor to learn how to apply clinical biofeedback skills through the review of 10 sessions of self-regulation, self 50 patient client sessions, and 10 case conference presentations. Five, BCIA written exam consisting of 100 multiple choice questions. And now I'm going to give an overview of the peripheral biofeedback modalities. First of all, you have EMG, uh, which stands for electromyograph, and this measures electrical activity given off when muscles contract. The activity is detected by using adhesive sensors that are applied to the surface of the skin. Next is skin temperature, and that measures changes in skin temperature from a sensor that's taped on the hand or foot. The temperature changes based on blood flow, which is affected by constriction or dilation of blood vessels in the hand or foot. The next modality is skin conductance, and this measures changes in electrical conductance on the surface of the skin, which is affected by the amount of sweat on the skin. Emotional reactivity tends to cause increased sweating which is detected by the sensors placed on the fingers or palm. And then you have heart rate and heart rate variability. This measures the heart rate or pulse as well as the amount of variability in the heart rate. This is often done along with respiration, which I'll talk about next, uh, so that the relationship between breathing and heart activity can be seen. Heart rate can either be measured using a photoplethysmograph or light sensor placed on the finger or earlobe or using an EKG sensor placed on either the torso or the wrist which measures the heart activity electrically. And then the final um, peripheral modality that we'll uh, look at is respiration and that measures the rate of breathing. Uh, it gives you breaths per minute and the depth of uh, breathing. We use a strain gauge or a belt that wraps around the abdomen and or the chest and the stretching of the belt reflects the expansion of the body as the subject breathes. The requirements for entry level clinical EEG neurofeedback certification are one, a bachelor's degree in a BCIA approved health related field, 
number two, human anatomy and physiology or human biology course. Number three, BCIA approved 36 hour didactic training covering the BCIA blueprint of knowledge. Number four, 25 contact hours uh, spent with a BCIA approved mentor to learn to apply clinical neurofeedback skills through the review of 10 sessions of self-regulations and 100 patient client sessions and uh, 10 case conference presentations. Number five, the BCIA written exam consisting of 100 multiple choice questions. EEG neurofeedback includes EEG or brainwave biofeedback training based on the electrical activity measured from the brain and uh, QEEG or uh, brain mapping uh, or other assessments. So the, the uh, QEEG, uh, usually people when they say QEEG they're referring to brain mapping although uh, QEEG can have to do with any type of uh, electrical uh, activity that we're, uh, or brain activity that we're measuring. Um, so the uh, brain mapping is a form of assessment that is done uh, usually before and, uh, and after uh, EEG or neurofeedback training to um, gather information and help to set protocols. The uh, HEG or hemoencephalography uh, is a way of measuring and giving feedback on brain blood flow and those are the things that are covered in the uh, EEG or neurofeedback. So you have the uh, two different types of certifications, uh, two different uh, pathways for uh, the, the certification in peripheral biofeedback and then also the EEG neurofeedback. Um, there are reasons why someone might want to start with peripheral biofeedback versus the EEG neurofeedback. A lot of that depends on the applications that you're interested in using uh, the um, modalities for. Uh, some uh, of the applications would use peripheral biofeedback more and others would include or, or use uh, EEG neurofeedback more. Uh, we tend to recommend that you learn both uh, starting with the one that you're most interested in uh, because the uh, EEG and the peripheral biofeedback modalities tend to uh, be more effective when used together uh, with clients and we get into that a lot more in the training programs. So the uh, biofeedback and neurofeedback seminars that health training seminars which is a division of biofeedback resources international corporation offers um, are accredited by BCIA to meet the didactic training requirements for certification for both the peripheral biofeedback certification and the EEG neurofeedback certification. Um, you can visit our website uh, the Biofeedback Resources International website is www.biofeedbackinternational.com uh, or also uh, the website of Dr. Palacios who uh, is partnering uh, with me on some of the trainings that we're doing especially those that are in the Miami Florida area and the, his website is www.biofeedbackcenter M as in Mexico, R as in Ralph, dot com. Uh, you can also call us toll free in the U.S. at 877-669-6463 or outside of the U.S. Uh, the phone number would be 914-762-4646 and you can get a full schedule of our training seminars uh, for BCIA certification. Dr. Palacios will be giving more information on some of the clinical aspects of biofeedback and neurofeedback and how they're used and how our uh, training programs are going to uh, help people get started um, with the uh, biofeedback and neurofeedback getting certified and the applications, the clinical applications that biofeedback and neurofeedback are used for. So give us a call and we'd be happy to help you uh, get started.